This is a um, an integrated AC disconnect and circuit breaker panel, sub panel, uh, made by a Midnight Solar. Um, so what you can see here is that it meets the requirement of providing a switch for enabling and disabling the AC that's uh, connecting to the microinverters, but integrates that switch with a, um, a rotation of underlying circuit breakers. So um, these circuit breakers, we have uh, two 20 amp, 240 volt circuit breakers. And what you can see here is that uh, we have two outlets that are going. We're going to have one going to each of the string of 10 microinverters. So we'll have a flex cable running from here out to the um, to one string of 10 and from here out to another string of 10. And um, that flex will be connected with the red, the blue, red, I'm sorry, the red, the black, red and black will come out um, to these two terminals and then the neutral in this case, white. White is neutral here. Um, to the uh, to the AC that's on the on the array, um, and we can have up to 17 microinverters on one 20 amp breaker. But because there are 20 panels in this install, uh, we could have run 17 to one breaker, and then would have needed another breaker uh, if it was a 20 amp breaker for. Um, for handling the three other inverters. Uh, it's possible to install a 30 amp breaker. However, the 12 gauge wire that's run inside of the um, trunk cable is really ideally suited for roughly 20, 25 amps, uh, 25 amps maximum current at 90 degrees Celsius. So um, for that reason, we suggest uh, using 20 amp breakers and 17 microinverters per string maximum. And so in this instance, because uh, more than one 20 amp breaker was needed anyway, uh, we've ended up going ahead and uh, just installing two breakers. So um, there's also a bonding wire here and the grounding connection that will be applied to all of these guys will ultimately uh, come to this point. And, uh, and we'll show that next.